Hey everyone, um, so originally I had, I was kind of confused about what an isopop was. I like thought that this was an isopop, but really it's a linear isolation. Um, but an actual isopop, which I knew how to do, I just didn't know that it had a name, is like this. Or like this. Basically, you're uh, doing an isolation, and then you're going to stop your hand at some place on the hoop, wherever it is, and let it roll around your hand and then grab it again, bring it down. Basically, it's just stopping the isolation, letting it rotate, and then keep going. And you can do this. Um, forward or backwards, so um, you can kind of do a lot of variations with it. Um, I guess I'll start with first, it's just um, normal going forward, so you start with basic isolation, pick anywhere on the hoop, I'm just going to choose like 9 o'clock, and you're going to have to give it a little momentum and push it forward, and then you want to grab it again, essentially in the same place, so you can let it go slow. I guess I kind of ended up down at like 4 or 5 o'clock, or no, I guess it'd be 7, but uh, anyway, your goal is to grab the same place and then continue your isolation. Um, and all I'm doing there is just giving it a little push, opening the grip, and then grabbing it again. Um, so that's, you know, play with that um, anywhere on the hoop, really. Uh, when you get to do one, when you're doing ones up at the top, you have to really, like, give a little bit more momentum with your hand on the up swing of your isolation to get it to go, and then you're going to come back down. So. Really, I think the best way of doing that is to start up here and let it go around your hand and then grab over here and bring it back down for something like this. Where it's just an isolation and then up here I let my hand go, it travels and I grab and bring it back down again. Um, your other option with this is to, instead of having to go forward, let it go backwards, which I think is the cooler move. <laughs> um, I'm just going to switch arms because my arm's tired. Uh, but, so you're doing an isolation, and then instead of letting it go forward, let it go backwards. So, you don't have to be doing um, what I was doing here. <laughs> Just like that. So maybe I'll stop here. It goes backwards. And in that case, I have a tendency to just let it go like that because it will automatically just kind of go that way. I think the coolest um, combination, like illusion wise, is to be doing forward isolation and then do the backwards grip. Or a roll. Um, and then you can obviously do a backwards isolation and then let it go forwards and you know change your direction a million times. That's really the I think the point is to kind of show keep the hoop isolated, move it and you know change your grip. It looks it's a really cool way of doing that and getting into something else. I quite often, you know, I go from doing a cat eye to this, or I will start in isolation, stop down here, and do the isopop, and then turn it into a cat eye. So, something like that. Um, yeah, you can apply this concept. Uh, to a whole mess of different tricks. Um, 
you know, try it when you're doing an ISO, uh, sorry, a linear isolation by popping it out and then letting it roll down. Um, like I said, cat eyes doing this. Uh, you know, just mess around with it, see what you can, uh, you know, do and vary and all of that. I think that's the most important um, thing to remember with all of these isolation movements is to learn the basic theory of it and then see, you know, how much you can change it up and apply it to a million different things. I feel like <laughs> I end up doing, you know, I have like five tricks in my book, but I just make it work in like a million different ways and it looks like I'm doing a bunch of different stuff. It's really all the same kinds of things, you know. Switching the direction, which is basically like a cat eye kind of with a different arm motion. Um, doing linear isolation, different lengths, different uh, directions, you know, anything like that. Um, I would definitely say that knowing anti-spin, linear isolations, cat eyes, isopops, those are all the basis of a really good like repertoire of isolation hoop moves. So hopefully all of these tutorials that I've done um, can really get you going in that direction and having a lot of fun with all these really awesome uh, illusion type of moves. So. Uh, hope you have fun with this.